Now we have edited our first report with the 4 designer, let's go and have a more detailed look at the menus and options we have. The first part of the 4 designer we will look at is the controls part. In here you will find all the controls you can place in your report. We will run through the controls one by one so you have a feel for what they do. The label is a multi-language label. It can display text in a number of languages. For instance in English. Or add a language in Dutch. A text box is the most often used control in Fornav. This control accepts a source expression from the Business Central dataset. If you drill into the source expression and the properties of the control, you can select any field from the dataset you would like. The picture box will display an image from the dataset, so you can set a source expression here to a picture field, for instance the logo in the Fornaf setup. The gauge will display a gauge control. A cross section line will display a line from top to bottom across your report. A cross section box will display a box from top to bottom across your report. The shape control will display a shape in your report. For instance, if you drill down into the properties of it, a horizontal line. A barcode will display a field from the dataset as a barcode, so you can select any field from the dataset once again to be displayed as a barcode. And in the symbology you can choose any barcode symbology you like. A table displays a number of text boxes as a table. So I now have a table with three text boxes and every text box can accept a source expression from my dataset. A chart will display a chart based on data in your report. And a sparkline will display a sparkline based on data in your report. The next part of the Fornav designer we will discuss is the lint. The lint has a number of areas that are of interest. Let's discuss the report buttons first. The open button opens a report or report layout from a file or straight from the server. The new button opens the online report gallery where you can choose a template for a new report or download the Fornav report pack. The save button saves the report or layout as a file or on a server. The extensions control contains tools for working with extensions. You can upload, download, unpack or create new extensions. The edit area contains tools for copy, paste, undo and redo. The font area contains tools to change the font properties for the selected control. The alignment area contains tools to align the selected controls. Alignment aligns all the controls in reference to the control you selected first. The layout area contains tools to control the size and grid positions of your controls. It sets the size and position of all controls in reference to the controls that you selected first. The zoom area controls the zoom of the design pane. And in the system area we have the settings that opens the settings windows. And the restore restores the positions of the toolbox windows. The main working area of the Fornaf designer is the design pane. It represents a graphical representation of the report layout that allows you to design the report. It consists of these parts. The data items. A data item is a connection to a business central table. Every Fornav report must be connected to at least one table. When you run a report, the data from the data item table is retrieved from the database so it can be displayed in the report sections. The sections. The section is where we display the data on the report. It has a set size that controls the amount of space it takes in the report. There are several types of section. The header prints the information at the top of a data item. The body prints the information per line in the database. The footer prints the information at the bottom of the data item. 
The transheader and footers print a section above or below a body section when a report prints more than one page. A group header and footer print a section above or below a group of body lines. The controls. On the sections are the controls that determine which data is printed and how that should be displayed. You can insert a new section of the report by right clicking the data item on which you want to insert a section. If you right click a data item you can say insert section where you can insert a section of any type or a new data item. A very useful menu in the Fornaf Designer is the Report Explorer. The Report Explorer is an expandable list that contains all data items, sections and controls of the entire report. We have already looked at the quick access properties of the controls. Every data item, section and control of a Fornaf report has many more properties though. You can see them in the property grid. Anytime you select any control anywhere in Fornav, you will find the properties of that control in the property grid. When we select a data item, we see the properties of the data item. We, when we select a control, we see the properties of a control. If you want to see the properties of the report itself, you go to the top node in the Report Explorer. We have seen before how we can add controls by selecting the desired control, dragging it to the report and setting the source expression. There is an easier way of doing this though and that is through the field list. The field list contains an expandable list of all the data items connected to your report and their fields. In the field list you can find any field you want to add to the Fornav report. Select it and drag it into the report. Alternatively if you want to overwrite the current source expression of a field you can simply take the new field and drag it on top of the current field and it will be changed to the new field. The data set has a number of items in there. First and foremost, of course, the data items that are connected to the report. In this report's case we have, for instance, the header and the line, they are connected to tables in Business Central. If we expand these, you will find that for every field in the table, we have an entry in the data, in the data set in Fornav. If you want to use one, simply take it and drag it into the report. We also have all of the field captions of all of the fields of these data items. If you want to add one of these, simply drag it into your report and for now we'll add the field caption. The next feature we have in Fornav is field groups. Field groups are groups of fields that are formatted in a similar fashion, like the, like the addresses. We have the build to address, sell to address and ship to address. We're working on a sales invoice here. If you want to use one of these, simply drag it into the, re into the report and make it a little bit bigger. Then we have the field lookups. The field lookups contain data from related tables. Every table in Business Central has several table relations to it. Fona finds those table relations and makes some of the fields in those related tables available, like the build to contact name or something like the currency caption and the currency description. Finally we have the field options. Some fields in Business Central have set options and for now we'll find those option values and add them to the field options list. Then we have tables that are not directly connected to my data set but are connected to my report and for those tables I can also use any field that's in the table. Then there are a couple of special uh, items in the data set, mainly the CUR report. The CUR report is not connected to any table, but it contains a couple of often used fields that we often see in reports, like the report caption or the company name, or for instance the page, which will display page 1 of X. The CUR report also has some standard captions in there. The standard captions are captions that we use very often in Fornav reports. They have been translated to all the languages that Business Central is available in. Finally we have the Dynamics NEV dataset. Sometimes it's necessary to add fields in the uh, coding part of the report. And whenever a developer adds a field there and wants to push it into the Fornav layout, he adds it to the Dynamics NEV dataset. And in the Dynamics NEV dataset you can find anything that has been set in the coding part of the report, like in this case, has discount. 
There are a couple of other nice tricks you can do when you're working with the uh, field list. For instance, we just drag the field into the report, but what if I want to add a picture, like a logo? If I drag that into my report, for now it just creates a text box. But if I drag it into my report with the shift key pressed, when I drop it, FNAF asks me what I want to do with it, if I want to create a text box, or a caption in a text box, or a heading in a text box, or a picture box, or a barcode. If, for instance, I choose a picture box, I now get a picture box control with the FNAF setup.logo set as a source expression.